Hello everyone, my name is Hannah and welcome to a new reading vlog. If you couldn't tell from the title of this video, I am going to be reading the last four books that I have left of Frederick Bachman's backlist. Frederick Bachman has quickly become a new favorite author for me. I have read five books by him so far and then the little like seven page short story that he posted on his blog and I just love his writing so much and I have not been disappointed yet by any of his books. I have loved them all so I have four left that I need to read but first let me talk about the books that I have already read by him. I have read A Man Called Uva. I have read Bear Town and Us Against You which is part of a trilogy I think set in the same town and everything following the same characters just different time periods. I have read The Deal of a Lifetime which is like a Christmas time novella and then my favorite that I've read so far is Anxious People. This was the very first one that I read and it is still my favorite. It's one of my favorite books of all time and I absolutely love the story, these characters, the writing, everything. Love this book. Oh, and I also read um, Sebastian and the Troll, which is that little seven page short story that he posted on his blog. So yeah, in this vlog, I will be reading the remaining four books that I have left of Frederick Bachman's backlist. So then I can officially say that I have read every single thing that Frederick Bachman has written, and I will definitely be picking up anything that he writes in the future. So for this vlog, I will be picking up And Every Morning, The Way Home Gets Longer and Longer, which is a very short little novella. Um, so this obviously shouldn't take too long to read. I just know that it's about this like boy and his grandpa and they just like sit on this bench and basically they just like talk about life and I don't know. It just seems like it's going to be very beautiful and heartfelt as all of Frederick Bachman's books are. So yeah, I don't know a super lot about this because it's so short that I don't really want to spoil myself for anything, but I will be picking this up in this vlog. I will also be picking up Things My Son Needs to Know About the World. This, I am pretty sure this is just like a nonfiction of Frederick Bachman kind of giving his son advice about being an adult and just thing, general things he wants him to know. I guess it's classified as a biography and autobiography. Um, so I think this is his only nonfiction book, but I think it'll still be told in the same way that his fiction books are told with just that kind of little touch of humor, even though talking about some serious topics. So I am very excited to pick this up. This next one is one of the um, novels that I have yet to read and I actually have already started this. So this one is Brit Marie was here and I am on page 75. And so far, I'm really liking it. It reminds me of A Man Called Uva, which is similar kind of vibes, but I'm different stories. This is following Brit Marie, who is kind of an elderly woman who has like this big life change and she needs to go to this small town. And she's very like detail oriented and like likes everything to be a specific way. And I think she just starts to get to know the people in this really tiny town. And I'm guessing she makes a difference. But again, it's going to be told in the same way that his other books are told with like talking about serious topics while throwing in that like heartfelt and humorous side of things as well. So but yeah, I'm already 75 pages into this one and so far enjoying it. And then the last book that I'll be picking up for this reading vlog is My Grandmother Asked Me to Tell You She's Sorry. So again, this is a novel and I just know from reading the the inside flap like a little bit but basically it's about this little girl Elsa and her grandmother who I think dies and so Elsa is going on this big adventure for her grandma telling the people in her grandmother's life that she's wronged like hey my grandmother wanted me to tell you that she's sorry so hence the title of the book so yeah, these are the four books that I will be reading in this vlog and I will officially be able to say that I have read everything that Frederick Bachman has written and I'm very happy about that. I'm excited to read all of these because like I said, I just really, really like his writing style. If you haven't picked up a Frederick Bachman book yet, I would highly recommend them. I would definitely recommend Anxious People, but anything that he's written that I've read so far, I guess I can't judge these four books yet, but I would definitely recommend him. All 
Alright, so the reading sprints on Deja's channel are all done now, and I did actually manage to finish Britt Marie Was Here, and I did like it. This is definitely not my favorite of his. Um, I'm not sure exactly what rating I want to give it yet. I'm leaning towards a three star, just because, I don't know, I just didn't like this story as much as his others. But I did still really enjoy it, and it still had the same, like, writing that I loved. But I just don't think I connected as much with the story as I did with some of his other books. So I'm thinking a 3, 3.5 star, somewhere around there. I'm actually going to be starting my 24-hour readathon in a couple hours here. So I don't think I'm going to pick up another Frederick Bachman book, at least for the next day. Um, and then I'll probably pick back up later or I guess earlier in the week. And I don't know which one I'm going to pick yet. Probably the novella or the nonfiction book, but I'm not sure yet, but I'll check back in when I decide to pick up another one of his books. All right, hi everyone. It is a new day. I have done my 24 hour readathon and I had a lot of fun with it. That vlog should be up before this one goes up. So if you haven't watched that yet, I'll leave it linked up in the cards over here and you should definitely go check that out. But it's a new day and I'm ready to pick up more books. So I think I'm going to be picking up um, every and every morning the way home gets longer and longer. I don't know why this title is so hard for me to remember. It's yeah, it's long, but it's not like it's a difficult title, but whatever. I'm going to be picking this one up. It's really, really short. It's just a little novella. And I just know that it follows this little boy and his grandpa and them just like talking about life. I don't know. So I think I'm just gonna pick this one up and read it in one sitting, read it all the way through. And then after, I don't know where to set it, after I finish that one, I'm gonna start reading Things My Son Needs to Know About the World. And I think I'm gonna be listening to this on audio because it's nonfiction and I just think it's it'll be easier to read it, or, like follow along while listening to it be read to me. So I'm going to pick these two up today and hopefully get them both done today. It is still the afternoon. It's still a very nice day out. So we're probably going to go for a walk in a little bit. And yeah, I guess I'll just update when I start reading those books or when I have read them. I don't know. We'll see. I'll see you in the next clip. <laughs> Alright, I have finished reading and every morning the way home gets longer and longer. It was a very quick short read, but it still definitely packs a punch. It is very, I don't know, very deep. I just like felt so many emotions in 75 pages that I didn't know was possible. Um, it just talks about basically what happens when you get older and your mind starts to go and like how people aren't necessarily ready for that and like the things that they do to cope with that. And I don't know. It's just very well written. So I'm going to end up giving this a five out of five stars just because I don't know how a person can pack in that much emotion into that few of pages, but Frederick Bachman definitely managed to do that and I think it was just so beautifully written and I would definitely recommend this. And then I also did pick up things my son needs to know about the world and I'm about 73 pages in, so just shy of the halfway mark. And I'm absolutely loving this. This is just like straight up humor of well, at least so far, of Frederick Bachman just basically talking about parenthood and apologizing to his son for being 
or for like making mistakes and stuff and it's just really really funny the stories and like the stuff that he's telling his son and I just really really like the writing obviously I love Frederick Bachman's writing so I'm really glad that I decided to pick this one up I wasn't super sure about it because it's nonfiction, but yeah I just definitely love I love it <laughs> it's really funny so I think I'm just gonna go watch book two for the rest of the night I don't want to burn myself out too much since I did just read so much yesterday for my 24-hour readathon but I'll definitely prob <laughs> definitely probably I will probably pick this up tomorrow and try to finish it but for now I'm just gonna set it down and go watch some booktube so good night and I'll see you probably tomorrow <laughs> All right, I have just finished reading Things My Son Needs to Know About the World, and I absolutely loved this. If you like Frederick Bachman's writing, even though this is a nonfiction, I would still highly, highly recommend it. I know that I like Frederick Bachman's fiction writing, so I was a little worried, not worried, but like I was curious to see how I would feel about his one nonfiction book, and it was amazing. I freaking loved it. I also didn't know that Frederick Bachman was shot in the leg in a robbery, which makes me think of Anxious, Anxious People, which is about a robbery. And like, I think that's just really interesting. I, I didn't know that. And that whole chapter or whatever that he's like telling that story about being shot literally brought tears to my eyes. I laughed out so, I laughed out loud so many times during this book too. Like, the way that he talks or the way that he writes like these things to his son basically like telling him like all the mistakes he's made as a parent like just like silly goofy things that he's done and whatever <laughs> I just loved it so I can safely say that whatever Frederick Blackman writes fiction or nonfiction, in the future I will definitely be picking it up he is for sure an autobi author and that means I only have one book left of his entire backlist of books. So I have one book left before I can say that I have literally read every single thing that Frederick Bachman has written. And that is My Grandmother Asked Me to Tell You She's Sorry. I have just this one book left. It's a fiction novel and I think I'm not going to pick it up right away. I'm going to wait, you know, I'll pick it up in the next couple days. But... I don't I don't want to pick it up because then I don't have anything else to read by Frederick Bachman. I know he has the third Beartown book like scheduled to come out. It says on Goodreads 2021 but I haven't seen any announcements from it. I don't know if that means it'll come out in Sweden this year and then it has to wait to be translated. I hope I hope that we can get it ASAP but yeah, I'll be picking this book up probably in the next few days and just enjoying my last Frederick Bachman book before he releases anything new. So I suppose I'll check in when I decide to pick that book up. All right, it has been a few days since my last update, but I did finally decide to pick up My Grandmother Asked Me to Tell You She's Sorry, and I am about 148 pages in so far, so I'm like nearing the halfway mark. And it was a little difficult to get into this at first just because I'm like in the mood for reading fantasy books right now and this is not a fantasy but because I love Frederick Bachman's writing so much and his stories he's managed to pull me into this story and I'm really really liking it. It's basically about this little girl Elsa who her grandmother um, has like Everybody else thinks that she's crazy and like really just like a mean old lady and she tells Elsa all these stories about the land of almost awake and she's like Elsa's best friend and then this isn't a spoiler or anything because it's in the, the front flap but Elsa's grandmother has cancer and she dies and she sends Elsa on this like adventure to give these letters to all the people that her grandmother has wronged in her life and basically trying to give Elsa something to do um, because again like I said she basically was Elsa's best friend. Elsa's only seven years old if I didn't say that but she's really smart and sarcastic and funny and I'm just really loving the story so far. So I'm going to continue reading and I'll update when I get a little bit further.
All right, hi everyone. I just wanted to say that I finally finished. My grandmother asked me to tell you she's sorry. And I really, really liked it. I think I'm gonna give it a four out of five stars. Um, I just, I really liked the story. I liked Elsa as the main character. She's only seven, but she's super like spunky and sassy and intelligent for a seven year old. Like she just has like some adult humor and I don't know. She doesn't act like any seven year olds I know, but she was really funny and I really liked her as the main character and the little adventure that she went on to kind of get to know her grandmother after her grandmother had already passed and... I don't know. It was just a really, really beautiful, cute story. So this is the last Frederick Bachman book that is published that I needed to read by him. So now I have read every single thing that Frederick Bachman has published, including the little short story that was on his blog that was only seven pages long. So I read everything. I feel a little sad about that because I love his writing so much that it was just really fun to continue to read his stories. Um, but I'm hoping that he writes many, many more books. I will pick up all of them. And if you haven't read any Frederick Bachman books yet, I would definitely, definitely recommend them. Pretty much any of them. You can't go wrong. Anxious People is definitely my favorite, but A Man Called Uva is really good. His novellas are really good. His nonfiction was really good. These other novels were really good. I don't know. You just, <laughs> you just can't go wrong. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, you can let me know by liking and subscribing down below. Leave a comment for me. I really appreciate those and let me know if you've read any Frederick Bachman books, what your favorite is, if you haven't yet and you're excited to pick his books up now because of this. I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!